Welcome back, everyone, to Calls with the Wizard. I almost said Rodian Radio, but same place. But anyway, Calls with the Wizard, uh, episode 17. And before I introduce my very special guest, I got some uh, minor announcements. You know what? I had a great, great time with Candyman here, the legend, knocking boots, melting your mouth. He was here on Sunday, and we had a great, great time. I'm sorry, Monday, because he couldn't make it on Sunday. Go check that out. Honestly, if there's any interview that I'd like to encourage you that I've done within the last possibly year, that one was very, very educational, especially about how the game was back then, um, him touring, him making money, making it to the top, and yet being very, very, uh, what did he use the word? Fake. He said it's fake up there. And um, so I think it's... um. Very educational and very inspirational for those of you that want to get into this game. Maybe you're into the game and you want to know how it was back then in the 90s. So definitely check out the Candyman episode. Other than that, if you guys didn't tune in on Friday, me and my co-host Marvelous Inc., we hosted uh, episode 44 on Freaky Tales. If you haven't checked that one out, make sure you guys tap in to that one. Uh, Friday, two days from now, once again, me and my co-host, we have a Halloween special. At the very end of Freaky Tales, we have a, well, it's a little skit that me and my friend Mike Santana filmed. It's a skit of Michael Myers. I play Michael Myers, okay? And um, you, just, you guys are just going to have to tap in and wait till the very end of the show to be able to see this short clip of me playing Michael Myers. It's actually, I think it's hilarious, especially since I came up with the idea, Okay. But uh, other than that, you know what? Uh, for those of you that want to be on Rodium Radio, once again, email us at rodiumradio at gmail.com. Rodiumradio at gmail.com. Once again, send in your music, your videos, and a short bio. You can just send in two songs, two videos, or if you have any, and a short bio. A uh, bio is really, really important. Uh, it gives me a little bit of your background and who you are, especially if you're just starting. Other than that, um, you know what? Do we have anything else, guys? Pretty much. No? Well, uh, we're going to chop it up with my guest for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to get into the phone calls. We'll put up the number. You guys call in. And I always like to say, if you got the balls, make the calls. Okay? <laughs> so without further ado, please allow me to introduce Yellow Hill. Yellow Hill, I know you brought your dinner with you. It's okay. Continue eating. Continue chewing. <laughs> and I don't yes, know who sir. changed it over there. But uh, anyways... Or maybe I'm, I'm late over here. Is everything okay over there? All right, cool, because over here hasn't changed. All right, but Yellow Hill, I got some things that I want to share with you before we actually get started. Let's get it. Okay. you were The first time you were here, it was episode 85. Episode 85, yes. Yes. Okay, and then now we're up to episode 278. Jesus Christ, you've been working. That was 193 episodes ago. How many years is that? Probably over a year and a half. And you did that much? That's crazy, bro. Yes, yes. I, I, I try to stay consistent. You have to. You know, yeah. so, yeah, man. So, um, once again, it's been that long. So, I had to bring you back, you know, uh, so we could chop it up, take some phone calls. Because uh, the last time that you weren't here, we actually, uh, you actually called and, uh, uh, you know, we told the people why you couldn't make it or whatnot. But yeah. now you're here. And there were people betting against you that you weren't going to be here today. Oh, my God, man. Who was saying? How many people, man? Some weenies on the, li uh, on the <laughs> live chat. I told this one guy, okay, and if he does show up, drinks are on you next time. Yeah. You know? Fuck it. Fuck it. Hell yeah. So he's here. Glad to prove you guys wrong. But uh, other than that, you know what? It's been a minute since you have been here. Mm -hmm. uh, um, when, well, what has Yellow Hill been up Two cents. I know you dropped so much stuff, but if you can give it to us, like in a nutshell, what have you been doing since episode eighty-five? Man, since episode eighty-five, I mean, I want to say that I've uh, I've metamorphosized, I've evolved. Um, obviously, I've been bombarding people with you know tons and tons and tons of music. The yes. musicianship and artistry is still contained with the same mm -hmm. shit. Um, uh, I met some good people. I moved into a new spot. Okay, I got a new girl. You know, this, but you know, it's fairly new to probably the fans and uh, maybe the Rhodium, the Tony A Wizard fans and the little <laughs> Wizardettes and the Wizards. Right. Um, but yeah, I got, got a new girl, got a new spot. Everything is moving like it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? God willing, right now. Um, we just been evolving, bro. You know what I'm That's saying? Good. Everything's been kind of cool and copacetic, man. So life is good. Life, life, is, life is great right now, man. I can honestly say that. You know, some people be like, man, life is great. And they're trying to psych themselves out. I feel like right now, 
life is at a good space right now for sure. That's dope. Yeah, man. That's that's dope, man. Yeah. You know, I always tell people you got get yourself a girl that you can build with. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If she makes you better, you make her better. <laughs> that's the winning team right there. I'm telling you, you build with, get you a girl that you can build with and chill with. You dope. know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Because then when you, you build it, you build it. But then when you're chilling, you know, you want somebody that's gonna bring um serenity to your to your mental health. Yes. And someone you can Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill, <laughs> Hulu and Fulu, nigga, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Since so we brought up movies, let me ask you this. There's a movie that is kind of trending right now. Mm-hmm. It's kind of dying down. People have been talking shit about it. Yeah. I'm gonna give my results of it on Friday when we do freaky tales. But okay. have you seen the new Michael Myers? Halloween movie? So, so my homeboy Doggy Style, he's a rapper, he's a recording artist, he actually spoiled it for me. Oh, shit. I didn't get to watch it, but he told me what had happened, and he told me, like, what was going on with it, and what it really was, and they switched the whole dialect of the story, and um, after he told me that, I was kind of just over it. I didn't even watch it. Yeah. I didn't get to watch it. I asked my homeboy, and he was like, bro, like, it started off kind of good, and in the middle, you wonder, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. And then at the end, it got kind of good. He goes, but... Don't waste your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. damn. Yeah. I saw the first one in 1978 when it came out. Bro, I seen that. That was actually trending. I think it was on Prime or something like that. Yeah. But you could watch that as well. But I didn't go back and check that out yet. No. Okay. I haven't even seen that original one, to be honest. I didn't know they dated back that, that far. 1978. I thought it was like, you know what, maybe 80, some, I don't know, 90 or so. I don't know what it was, but yeah. 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 I remember I was four. Or five when The Exorcist came out. I think it was maybe the 73 or 74. Yeah. And my mom took the damn kids in the station wagon to the damn swamp meet. Yeah. Put the speaker, you know, inside, blasted that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, And all I heard was, (sighs) I was like, no. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Exorcist is crazy. I have a, you know, not a story, but so... My girl, she introduced me to The Conjuring and um, Insidious and Annabelle. Those are dope. And um, I thought I was kind of terrified of those. But then I started actually getting acclimated to fucking with those. So I watched those. We watch scary movies all the time. And then just recently she put on The Exorcist. And when I seen The Exorcist, for some weird reason, I don't know what it was. But I was just like, yo, this is kind of just fucking nuts. You know what I'm saying? Because it's old school. But I think the scene that got me is when she was like going up and down like this. Yes. And then like saying, fuck me or something. Like, fuck me. Like that. (laughs) I don't know if I don't know if maybe my mom and my dad and my uncle, since they seen it when they were younger, they freaked me out. And they kind of put it in my mind that that's the scariest movie ever. Yeah. But when she put it on, it was like three o'clock in the morning. I was just like, Mandy, take this shit off, bro. <laughs> I was like, this shit's. Cr-. But I can handle Conjuring, right? But, but with extra, for some reason, it's just something crazy. It is. It is, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that movie, at least in my opinion, yeah. When it came out, keep in mind now, I, my mom had no business taking us to see that fucking yeah, movie. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. I think that movie was probably about fifty years ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. I can't find another movie that, I, at least in my opinion, that comes close. Now, I have nephews and nieces. They're like, oh, that movie was stupid. Watch it by yourself at night, and oh, we'll you're see. you're done. You're done, okay? <laughs> but this bitch was like, fuck me. <laughs> like, fuck that voice, bro. I've seen it. Once I, I think that's the scene. You can ask her. That's the scene that I told her to turn that shit off. <laughs> it was too much, bro. I was like, what? I was like, I don't even know what the fuck else is going to happen. Because it's so crazy because... It's kind of got the shining effect. Yes, yes. When you watch The Shining, it's real slow. It's uh-huh. almost calming. It's like The Exorcist in the beginning is actually a very intriguing and comforting movie. Yeah. And then it's just boom. Just like The Shining. The Shining is cozy. You can have some Pizza Hut with it and watch it. And then right when fucking you see the old lady scene with The Shining with Jack Nicholson <laughs> and you see the little creepy shit and he starts acting weird. It's like, oh, fuck, it went from zero to 100 quick, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Have you seen the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. That was another 70s movie. I don't think I've seen that. Bro, there's like, I watch those movies and I'm thinking to myself, there's no way that you can imagine the director saying, yeah. okay, chop her fucking head off and then we'll cut. Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's like, there's no fucking way, like, yeah. they were too real. Yeah. Here's another one that traumatized me. Uh, Jaws. You ever see Jaws? I seen one? Jaws one. I seen Jaws one. Okay, when that came out, a lot of people didn't want to go to the beach. Yeah, I didn't want to take a bath because I thought that <laughs> motherfucker might come up. Yeah. As a kid, you're yeah. taking a dookie. You look down at the water. You're afraid of motherfuckers gonna come yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's how crazy it was. Yeah. Yes, bro. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah. I seen um. What was the one I seen? I seen recently. Fuck. What was it, bro? 
it was Evil. Was it Evil Dead? It was an old Evil Dead. Oh, Remember yeah, Evil Dead? Crazy. Evil I've Dead. seen the Evil Dead with her. She put me on a bunch of scary shit. She I didn't must, even she must have grew up with that shit. Yeah, she, like she's got like you know, my girl. She's Japanese and Mexican, but you know she's 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 um when we on her Mexican side of the family, if we got a, it's like a cozy cottage. You got all the scary movies. There's like four thousand DVDs there. Some champurrado. <laughs> and nigga, you just chilling with some pozole, and it's like they got they their hobby is to just watch movies. Yes. So I've so I would be asking her about different movies, and she'd be like, "Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. I seen." I'm like, "Bro, you seen every fucking thing?" Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially scary shit. They love scary cinema, bro. So. Yes. Scary yeah. movies. Uh, uh, that's what I grew up with, and uh, like anything that was kung fu, we just called the karate movies. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, películas de karate. Yeah. You know? <laughs> So that's how I grew up. The same shit, man. Yes, hell yeah. But scary movies was a big deal in my family. So, and I'm glad we're talking about it because it's that season. You know, Halloween is on Monday. So I have to ask you, any Halloween parties, any Halloween shows, or are you dressing up for Halloween? So, yeah, man, I'm doing actually, my name's Yellow Hill. So I'm doing Happy Halloween. Oh, um, okay. I'm doing, a, it's, a, it's a meet and greet. We're doing pumpkin carvings. Um, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to put the little, like, you know. The little clown makeup on with like the little, the, you know, the, the, the outfit. Uh, we got kids pulling up, fans and shit. It's going to be on Pico at a Catch Gallery LA. So we're doing that special for the fans, supporters, and just for the community. Uh-huh. Um, but then after that, man, we about to go crazy. We might hit up some parties. Okay. Dress like so. I want to dress like three different things this year, bro. So right, right. You know, right. I might want to be the mask, nigga. I don't know. I want to be everything. <laughs> I want to be something scary too, though, yeah. for sure. Well, every year I'm Michael Myers, so I'm gonna be Michael Myers again. So yeah, that's yeah. no mystery. You love that shit. I Is love that your it. favorite? Um, probably my favorite, like villain, if you want to call him. I okay, guess. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I would say him, and then probably next. It's a toss up between Chucky and Farley, uh, Freddy Krueger. I love Freddy, bro. Freddy's crazy. Freddy's dope. I think he's my favorite, yeah. Yeah, remember that one when he went, well, I forgot which one it was, when he puts up his fucking fingers and then he cuts them off and shit? Yes. That's a sick That's bastard. fucking nuts. There was yeah. another scene I forgot. I seen it with her. Again, it's with, with her. It's like I fucking watch all the scary movies with her. But it was, I, I got to remember the scene, but it was like, what? How the fuck did the directors think of this shit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the fir- very first one, a lot of people may not know or do know that Johnny Depp was actually in the very first one. What? Johnny Depp was in the first one. He gets killed. I didn't even know that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He probably, he, it was probably a, like something quick. No, no. He was actually in there pretty, like, pretty long. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. And last night I was watching Jeepers Creepers. I like that shit. And then there's another one that doesn't get a, a lot of noise, but it's actually pretty good. Trick or treat? It's called Trick or Treat. How did I know one. he was going to say that? that How did one. I know you were going to say I don't know. Because it's like... It's like the little black sheep. It's like the it's like the one that's on the side. But if you know, you know. Right. If you know, you fucking know. That one and um, what's the other one? Uh, something Christmas, Mandy. No, oh, no, no, no. It, black Christmas. Oh, black it, Christmas. Okay, are you talking about the the seventies, the old one? I don't know. With the killers inside the house. He's like a little like he's like a Christmas monster or some shit. It's the newer oh, one. It's, it's the, the newer, newer one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there was a movie that came out in the 70s, and it was called Black Christmas. Yeah. And this motherfucker is killing people in the house, and he keeps crank calling one lady. And then when he finally traced the yeah, call, they yeah. say, the killer's in your house. Is that the same type of shit? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. This, this one I seen was fucking nuts, bro. It was crazy. What about the Omen, the first one? With the kid. The, the, the original. The, I seen that shit. That shit was fucking nuts. The Antichrist. I love that movie. That movie's crazy, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I remember when that movie came out, Napalm the 666. I was in the mirror looking for that shit, bro. I was like, <laughs> do I have that shit? Uh, Tony was like, what the fuck? Hold on, bro. Yeah, What's exactly. going on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. So, so I'm going to be Michael Myers. I know you. Oh, one last movie, because I don't want people to think that this is a Freaky Tales episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Black Phone. You seen that one yet? I seen Black Phone with her. I thought it was. Uh, I, okay, so what sold me on wanting to watch that uh-huh. was his mask. Yes. I seen his mask and I was like, this is fucking nuts. I never seen anything that terrifying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially, I mean, to me, his mask is more terrifying than Jason, fucking Freddy, Michael Myers, Jeepers. It's nuts, bro. It looks like a fucking stone cold gargoyle. So when I went to go see it, I've had the feeling that it was going to be like horror. But oh, it was really damn. more so to me just suspense and him being abducted. That's all it was, yeah. And it was kind of it was kind of supernatural because then people would visit him on the phone and shit. But yeah. it was to me, I didn't I didn't label it a horror movie after I was watching. It. Okay, okay, I liked it. You know what it reminded me of? When my kids, well, when they were kids, I used to play them Goosebumps. Remember Goosebumps? I love that shit. Carly Beth, the mask. I, yes, I thought that that was Goosebumps for adults. 
<laughs> I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, the, the Goosebumps is fucking sick. Yeah, I got. I used to have all of them in the VHS. The VHS. Oh, Remember? that shit. I can't take the mask off. You couldn't take that shit off? Bro, that shit's nuts. <laughs> I actually wanted to be one of those motherfuckers for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. What about- Oh, my, my nephew was the mud monster from back in the okay, day. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What about Leprechaun? You like Leprechaun? The little green motherfucker. That motherfucker. I seen Leprechaun. I, I forgot how it was, though. I think I might have been half asleep when it was on or some shit. There was another cheap movie that I believe came out in the eighties. It was called Ghoulies. I, I never seen you, Ghoulies. You, yeah, you check it out. I you, know go- the Goonies, but no, nah, not Ghoulies. Yeah, it's called Ghoulies too. Yeah. It, and the reason why I bring that up is because I was about eighteen or nineteen. My first job out of high school, I worked at a video store, so I learned how to how to set everything up. So yeah. I came home and I, I told my mom, "If we get enough money." We'll open up our own yeah, video yeah, store. Yeah. This was the eighties, and yeah. I op- as a teenager, yeah. I opened up my own video store. Oh fuck, that's that's monumental, bro. Yeah, and that shit was like selling, going like fucking hotcakes. But when you know when you got five brothers and none of them want to help you, and you're working oh, like twelve hour shifts, it only lasted one year. So See, it comes to an yeah, exactly. Because you gotta evolve. You gotta get people employed and shit, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's was, dope though. But from nine o'clock in the morning to nine at night, I was there. Whoa. Every fucking day. And I was just telling my mom, somebody needs to fucking help. Well, you got five older brothers. Nobody wants to help. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so no, for down sure. Fuck it down. Hell now, yeah. Now, I want to get into some things that are kind of trending. And I said trending on social media. Okay. And it's the whole fucking Kanye thing. Oh, shit. Did, did you watch him on Drink Champs at all? I know they took <laughs> it down, but they still, like, somebody, like, reposted it. I seen, like, um... I see many clips of him around the internet. Like, right. so I never really tuned into. I think I tuned into Drink Chance, but I think I got even almost bored. Um, I, I get bored watching. I'll be honest with you. I get bored I watching. I get bored, bro. It's just, it's just like, it's just, it's, it's some of the material, sometimes they'll lose me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is cool. What the fuck? And then they'll go somewhere else, and I'm like, oh. And then, and then he starts his little rant, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, well, um, he had a shirt, I guess. White Lives Matter. White Lives Matter. Like, Sometimes I think watching that I'm like, this motherfucker's doing this shit on purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. doing this shit on purpose. Yeah. yeah. You know, but but then he gets black people to model that shirt. You know, so I'm thinking, okay, where is this going? I don't know. Do you know where he was trying to go with that shit? I mean, look, so so let me just first first off by start saying, um, he I, he lost me right when he was done with like um the graduation the little okay. art, but after that I feel like everything has just been kind of clout chasey. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a common medium and it's I think it's a mixture between his mental his mental health. He has a sickness and he needs medicine like fifty percent right yeah. or maybe sixty maybe a little bit over fifty and then the rest is just creating controversy to bring more notoriety to his brand. People do it all the time, but I feel like he took it too far with that. Like, yeah. what did that mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did you? What would what, what the, he always does shit where you're like, why? Yeah, and we never really get an answer out of him, and I feel like that's what keeps him his relevancy up. So he'll yeah. do some shit like he might, he might take an El Pollo Loco bag and make a whole fucking outfit out of it, <laughs> and, and then he'll have an umbrella with it, and he'll walk inside of Kmart and he'll be eating some fucking, you know, Caesar's Chili, pizza. Yeah, yeah. And we're all gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? What did that mean? What's going on? Right. And I feel like. That's how he stays relevant. Because I haven't really been a fan of his music in a while. Same here. You Same feel here. me? I used to Same love here. his music back in the day, but I'm like, you know. Yeah, the sad part is that we'd probably look at him wearing that pol- Polo Loco uh, uh, outfit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what the fuck is wrong? But uh, there's other people on the other hand, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's brilliant. You know? he's, he's, he's brilliant. Yeah, so... I don't know. Like I've talked to a lot of like, <laughs> he's not. I, mean, I don't. I don't see. I'm just like I'm tripping about yeah. that. Yeah, uh, I've talked to a lot of like well known double platinum artists that I said, "What do you think about him? The guy's fucking amazing." I go, "You don't think the guy's crazy? The guy's brilliant, man." And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm lost. And there, there's, I guess, there's some brilliance to him. I feel like maybe, maybe him changing the course of fashion and music to a certain degree. I feel like he did at one point, but some of the shit is just like, come on, bro. Like nigga, you gotta chill out. Like we still gotta be normal to us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like chill out. You know, because you're doing too much now, bro. But he is he to a certain degree. I mean, he is a brilliant artist. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then uh, uh, okay, they were saying I don't know if this is true, you guys. Maybe you guys can check. It said that Instagram and Twitter, the two social media companies, suspended his account on October 10th after a series of anti-Semitic posts that included 
an Instagram screenshot of text conversation with uh, Sean Diddy Combs. Oh, yeah, yeah, Where yeah. he accused Diddy of being controlled by Jewish people. So, but they're oh, saying, yeah. I looked it up. Okay, that he they, still got an Instagram, right? Okay. He still got an Instagram. Okay. Because I was thinking they might have did a fucking Donald Trump number. <laughs> now, 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 let me ask you this. If we have freedom of speech, okay? Right. If we really have our constitutional rights, why did they take Donald Trump's uh, Twitter away? And that's our president. Well, yeah. that was our president. Um, that's a good question, bro. That's a good question. You know, why did why did why, you said why did they feel why do you feel like they took his Instagram down? Uh, uh, no, his uh, Twitter. If he has freedom of speech, yeah, we have, we have freedom of speech. I feel like he was such a he, he was a bigger pillar, politically speaking, with the world, uh-huh. and I felt like maybe he was putting America in jeopardy with some of the things that he was saying. I yeah, feel yeah. like I feel like I know Donald Trump. As being a motherfucker that just doesn't... He's a billionaire. He doesn't give a fuck. If you like it, you don't. If you don't, get the fuck out. Right. I feel like I um, I don't agree with a lot of the shit he was doing and shit because I'm black and brown, bro. But right. I mean, like, as far as his, like, energy with shit sometimes, it's just, like, him not giving a fuck about shit. I guess you could say that that's maybe an attractive feature to certain people. Yeah. Um, But I feel like, yeah, man, I don't know, bro. You know, it's that's a, that's a tough one. I feel like he's he's a political figure, so... They probably was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing too much. Kanye's just an artist. Right, right, right. D- Donald Trump was the president, so they're like, hold on, you can get us fucking bombed out here, nigga. Yeah, exactly. You're saying too much, you can get us fucking killed. <laughs> you know, we might have a start a war with Sudan just from some you saying, but Kanye West, he's just ranting about just, you know. Now, uh, Kanye West was wearing a, a MAGA hat. Yeah. Okay, and then now he's saying he's going to run most likely for president. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think anybody can run because at one point <laughs> when it was Hillary and fucking Donald Trump, there was a guy uh, called These Nuts that was running. You yeah. Know, so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they actually announced it on the news. These Nuts. You can pretty much, anything can pretty much happen nowadays. I feel like, I feel like to me personally, there hasn't really been any structure or respectability in the climate of the world, nigga, since the 90s, bro. Yeah, I believe that. Even if you want to take it to like politics, but even like gang banging, uh-huh. uh, not even just gang banging, politics and like um, anything, honestly, bro, I feel like there hasn't really been any like real structure. So anybody can do whatever now. This climate that we're in right now is like, what the fuck happened? Right, you right, know? right. I'm, you know, I'm ashamed to be a part of the 2020s, but you know, as to some, at some point we got to embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Certain things. Okay. So as we know, as we know. Def Jam, the label, is also reportedly no longer distributing release, releases from the rappers uh, uh, getting his next album out. They're, like, they're not distributing it. I don't know how true it is, but I read that on today on LA Times. Kanye the West? Website. Yeah. Okay. Then supposedly Adidas dropped them, Gap dropped them, and then I have a harder one, Balenciaga dropped them, <laughs> and then Foot Locker dropped them. Bro, at this point, at this, at this point I've been seeing, um, I seen a post that said, uh, what is it? Northgate Market has cut ties with yeah. El Supermercado has cut t- <laughs> Food Community has cut ties. The Power Rangers have like they're, they're it's just they're making right. it a thing now. Right, right. Do you know that you know the homie Swifty Blue? Yes. Okay, so so Swifty Swifty Blue, um, when he was saying check in, that kind of went viral. Okay. So then they would have check in sheets and check in stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? The, the, now, do you think that that was was that really real? Was he did he make an app? Um, I don't think he made an app, but he he was on some check in shit though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Did you check in with him? That's his politics, no nah, man. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but um, yeah, I ain't got no, I ain't got no problem with Swifty or nothing like that. He, you know, all, I, everybody that's an artist right now that's doing their thing, I I got I show Absolutely. nothing but love and admiration and respect for them. Um, but yeah, man, you know, you know how shit can go viral with anything. Yeah, Tony, hey, you could do some shit where I don't know, you could just do anything, and then everybody will start copying if it's like marketable and like followable enough yeah 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 like today i cut ties with kanye kanye sada you know, <laughs> for making road and radio remarks yeah yeah the, yeah. the yeah. paletero cut ties yeah 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 so but yeah but you know what <clears throat> I, I, I don't now, now do you think because we live in a cancel culture yeah. generation do you think it's possible that the stuff that he's done and how everybody's walking away from him that he can literally be canceled or do you think he has kanye to, west yeah um, if you look at his track record, he's done so much yeah. that he's been canceled for. 
but it, for some reason, it always seems to be that whenever he gets canceled, it does something good for him because his album sells yeah. and his notoriety and his following and his reputability and people talking about him just increases and it enhances. Yeah. For some people, for some entities or representatives or rappers or whatever the case may be, they could say some shit and they'll be fucked. But for him, I feel like I don't know what it is about him, bro. Like people yeah. will listen to what the fuck he has to say. Okay, what about the Kardashians? Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, but why does it always seem like when somebody gets with them, it almost seems like the men, it's almost like they fucking lose it, like they fall apart. Um, like, give me, like, how many, let me see how many okay, men. Okay, like there. Lamar Odom. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys know his story. Crackhead, uh, at least one with the news to told, told yeah. us, ends up in a whorehouse, you know, uh, um, the dad turns into a woman, you know. I mean, I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah, at yeah, Kanye yeah. West now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You um, know? I feel like um, it's one of two things. Okay, so because I, I want to be fair, because I don't know the Kardashians personally, right. obviously. Me neither. Me neither. Um, it could be. Who knows? It could be. Let me just start with this one. It could be like maybe some. Mental illnesses going on within the family's infrastructure, maybe. Right. Maybe mm -hmm. with um, what's going on, maybe the way they run their household behind closed doors. Maybe when you see Keeping Up with the Kardashians, there's things that they're not showing, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or you know, to be fair, maybe it's just the men. Who knows? It maybe it's the, maybe it's just the men that they're attracted to. They're attracted to men that have a lot of problems already. Right. So it's one of two things. I can't tell you which. If I was in the house and shit, then I'd be able to tell. Right, right. <laughs> but I don't course. know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just going off of whatever's yeah, yeah, trending. Shit, it could be one of two things, though, man. One, of, Either the women or the men. I don't know. Shit. I do. I understand what you're saying, though. It's always something always kind of goes wrong or weird over there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> man, okay. Now, as far as... Um, uh, where was I going with this next? Mm, well, no, I, I don't want to go there because... That'll open up a big old thing. Of, and if you want to bring something up, you can go. No, 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 you can. <laughs> okay. No, you good. You, you know, the, the thing is, okay, let me ask it this way. Are men attracted to toxic women? I feel like men are attracted. There's a, there's a man out there attracted to every type of woman. Okay. Okay. So good you, answer. Right. <laughs> so, so you have a man. So you, so. A man, there is men that are attracted to toxic women. A, a lot of men, they get bored and they grow tiresome of maybe the casual United States of America common woman doctrine. Right. Cook at home, good wife, stays at home, no fighting, no arguing, no whoop de whoop de whoop. You, right. know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes they're missing a spice in their life. Some men feel like they might be missing a spice or they're missing a zing or... They want to have the relationship feel like they're really in a relationship or they want to know if their partner really cares about them. So toxicity, toxic. I think that's um, I think that is something that people are attracted to because their life gets boring. Um, but that's only for toxic people. Yeah. Um, but if you like found peace and happiness within the normalcy of being in a union with a woman. Yeah. And um, you have things to do and you're not simple minded and you can like create different things for you and your partner to do like. Disneyland, if you go to Tulum, or I feel like that'll alleviate any of the wants of you wanting anything toxic with any woman that's toxic. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, one thing that I've learned today, and I was talking to uh, one of my buddies about his daughter. She's uh, 21 or 22, and he caught her on the phone telling her friend, and he was like, like ear hustling. And she was saying, well, you know, the way it is, if he wants it, I, I'm going to give it to him because it's whole life or no life. He heard his daughter <laughs> say that. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. Wait, who said, said that? She said that about her dude? L like she was talking to another female on the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If he wants it, I'm going to give it to him. Like, I guess they were talking about a certain dude. Oh, so, so, she, oh, so she's saying that she's fucking somebody else's. No, dude. no, no. Like, I guess she's telling, it would be like me telling you like, <laughs> hey, hey if, 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 you know, homeboy wants it, I'm going to give it to him. That's pretty much what she was saying. <laughs> oh, and then shit. She, and she goes, you know me, whole life or no life. And he just like, he called me up and he's like, hey, bro, you know this generation, man? And I was like, what? So we started talking about this generation. He mm -hmm. said, they can text, they can tweet. He said, they can inbox, they can DM. They can do everything but hold the conversation. 
He said when she had a boyfriend, they would just sit there and watch TV and they never talked. And 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 I said, what, what do you mean they never talked? He said they would text each other sitting right next to each other. Whoa. Sitting right next to each other like this. And she would get up. Where are you going? Oh, he wants a soda. I didn't hear him. Oh, he texted to me. And they were sitting right there. And I was like, no shit. You know? Bro. Bro, I, I didn't let my dog. Okay, I got two daughters. One's a school teacher and the other one's in the Air Force. Yeah. I didn't let them have a cell phone, so they got at least in 12th grade. I feel you. Okay. I feel that. And when they got it, it was the greatest thing on earth for them. Yeah. Okay? Because it's there. Today, there's eight-year-old kids, seven-year-old oh, kids man. with cell phones, bro. There's no, they have no business doing that. Look, at, I, we came from an a, a era where, you know, where parents today say, well, if he doesn't have a cell phone, how, how, how can he get a hold of us? Well, you wait till you fucking get home. I did it from elementary, from junior high school, yeah. and high school. Yeah, yeah. If I need to go to the principal's office, ama, me recoge, can you pick me up? Yeah. And that's the way we did it. Yeah, you know what? Me too. I want to say the last time I did that was probably... Um elementary and then a little bit of middle school and then everything changed yeah that's when they started getting phones and shit yeah, like blackberries yeah. and shit it's like all right fuck but <laughs> i thought i was a shit with a beeper yeah yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah but yeah, yeah man so th that's where we live so i get now we we look at okay here's another one that he told me he said man i started talking to a girl on facebook and he said and within a week less than a week i got a naked picture from her yeah he was she was completely nude yeah. And I said, okay, what's wrong with that? And he goes, man, I remember when I went out with the mother of my kids, it took me two months just to get a good night kiss. He said, now Whoa. in a couple of days, I get a girl butt naked on the internet. Whoa. But look how fast times have changed, bro. Times have super changed, bro. You know? <laughs> man, from the, the 1950s, 1960s, I feel like um, that was like a, a embodiment of love and shit. You had like the shy lights and not even them. That was, that was a little bit before, but it was just all about love and then, Take it, opening the door, making sure you got cologne, your haircut done, making sure that you, you know what I'm saying, get into the restaurant, pay for it, have a nice conversation, make sure you got your breath mints. Remember when they had these? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the Bianco, Binaco, whatever it was called. Binaco. And you know what I'm saying? That, it's a different day and age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was back then when you actually had to talk to the girl. Now it's just this. Where yeah. you at? You, What's up, bitch? You, 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 <laughs> you down the <to> fuck? <laughs> And it's, and it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just ugly, bro. Like, it we, ain't. We, we went from, make, oh, can I make, well, you want to make love, baby? To, let me hit. <laughs> for real, for real. Let, let me clap. Let me clap them cheeks. Yeah, they don't give a fuck nowadays, bro. No. This shit crazy, man. They don't. They don't. That shit is nuts. Well, before we go to, uh, go to the phone lines, anything anything else you want to bring You want to bring up, bro? No, nah, man. I mean, shit, you know, just. um. Let, let, let's talk about, okay, we got two months of this year is over. Yeah. Okay, and, and we got 2023, uh, God willing, we're going to see 2023. What can people expect in the next two months or possibly the 2023 uh, from Yellow Hill? Man, so in the next two months, we're just going to load them up with a whole bunch of music. We're going to just load up the cannons, shoot the motherfuckers down, sh drop music videos, stay consistent, um, increase the, you know, increase the peace. Um, you know, start doing some more community revolution and progress shit for the community. Uh, top of next year, man, we just, we're going to keep the same doctrine, but, uh, we switching it up a little bit with just like the features that we're doing, everything uh -huh. that we're doing, we're just going to do it at a bigger level and, uh, Godspeed ahead, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If you were to have three guys right now that you, that you wish you can love to do features with, who would that be? If anybody, male or female? If oh, three people that I would love to do features with musically. Yes. Yeah. Right now. Um, Kanye. No, <laughs> no, nah, hell no. No, no, I'm good. Not even because of what he's doing, because what he's doing, I don't agree with. But I'm not, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be excited. Like, I'm like, okay. you know, um, I would say, you know, what would be cool is uh, like a Justin Bieber feature would be straight. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I want to tap into that type of world and that, mm. that vibe. And, you know, I want to get around that. That's fun. Yeah. I want to be at my shows. And it's motherfuckers with peace, love, positivity, and prosperity as opposed to I'm at my shows and it's a fight breaking out. Like, you know, fuck you, punk. <laughs> you feel me? We done been through that. So so Justin Bieber, um, I always wanted to work with like Lauren Hill. Hell yeah. So I want to work with Lauren Hill for sure. And then I think thirdly would be like nobody else really. Somebody that passed away would probably be like, I want to do like a crazy ass record with like Pac. Okay. That's it. But I mean, I can't, I, I, it's just those two. And those are not even in my fucking you know, right, genre. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even tripping on anybody in my genre right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 before we put up the, the phone number up there, Alex, who 
who are some of the artists right now, if you could think of any, that are, are banging right now, maybe not necessarily on the radio, but like, look out for this guy, look out for this guy, he's got some hot shit. Yeah. Anybody out there that you may know that deserves somewhat of their flowers right now? Hmm. Um, yeah. Um, 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 you got, uh, it's a cat named Rob Law. Rob Law's hard. You got Bonkers. Because a lot of these people aren't even on, like, the spotlight, but they, they're so incredible. Right, right. Um, the Eastside Bonkers, you got Rob Law, um, Hit Town. Um, I love RJ still. RJ's, like, one of my favorite rappers in L.A. still. Uh, G Perico, he's getting his flowers now. Love G Perico. I love everybody in the city doing their thing. Um, it'd be so many. But that okay. comes at the top of the head, like, of two people that I find talent in. right. Are those were those three, and then the other two are like you know people that are already kind of doing their thing. Okay, I look up to them, and um, yeah, man, every everybody in the city doing their shit though. Absolutely, and shout out to uh Bella too, the little homegirl. Yeah, she's yeah. still going crazy. So she's still going crazy. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I finally got to see her perform. Oh, oh, sorry, not even to cut you. Um, Mr. D is hard. Okay, yeah, Mr. D's hard. Mr. D, I, I seen I seen him up I seen him up here a couple times. Mr. D's hard. Um, fuck. I mean, I just want. I just need for for Mr. D. I just need more of like. I just need. I just. I. I need more of it, more from him. That's what I was trying to bring out of him. Yeah. I, oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was producing him. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 And then things went south of the border. So. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. No, but it, much love to that guy. Much love to. That oh, guy. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't mean yeah. to bring. It. I'm sorry, bro. No, yeah. no, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but he's uh, but he's because I seen him up here, so that's why I was like, because I remember bro. I seen him up here, yeah. but I just need more because I remember seeing him drop something, and then it's like, and it's like, what's go? What happened? Yeah. And yeah. then he'll drop again. I'm just like, bro, you got to look. You got the top, you know. So, and I remember he came to my first meet and greet when I was coming up. And I was like, bro, you got to go crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you were producing for I thought he was just, I thought because I would see him up here a lot. But I, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, no, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex, let's go ahead and put up that number. And, uh, um, you know, we'll start taking some calls. Once again, if you got the balls, make the calls. If uh, uh, make, the, make the calls pertaining to music. Once again, if you want to know where his album or a EP or a single's going to drop, ask him. Yeah. Where he's going to be performing next, ask him. Uh, what the future holds for him. Ask him. So let's go ahead and take the calls. Let's see. Caller, your name or where are you calling from? Okay, hold on one second, caller. Hold on one second. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's get okay. this party started. Caller, are you there? Hello? Caller? Caller? Hmm. I'm connected, right, Alex? Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe it was just because of the connection. Okay. Caller, call back. I forgot to do the Bluetooth thing. So. You didn't need me to post that number too, right? This is all you. No, it's all good. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. It's all good. Because if we give the number beforehand, they'll start calling before we even. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. that. No. Yeah. Because niggas don't even be able to get their shit out the way. Caller, your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what up, what up, Tony? This Capone from South LA. What's up, my brother? You got a question for Yellow Hill? Yeah, yeah, I actually do. Um, I wanted to ask him if uh, if he's willing to do something with uh, with Shifty Blue, since he already brought him up. I'm thinking that uh, that his jam with that is not the same as Shifty Blue talking about all that. Uh, you know, what whatever he's got going on, I think they might have something banging on me. Yeah, you know what, me and what's up with you, bro? How you doing, man? Um. Yeah, oh, we, my bad, my bad. That's right. Homie. I said mine. I said mine's at a hundred, homie. You, you already know. Oh yeah, you yeah. already know, baby. You're straight G. Yeah, no, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. That's love. Yeah, no. Um, me and Swifty, we got we got like two records already. Like, but we just haven't released it. And I've been in communication with him here and there and stuff. I just been getting really busy, and he's busy. Um, but uh, everybody that's doing anything, I got love for. It. But yeah, we got like a couple records already in the cut, man. Okay, you just haven't released them. Yeah, oh, we shit. ain't released them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I was in the studio oh, with him a minute ago, so that was a long time ago, yep. Oh, good. Okay. Can we expect uh, oh, possibly cool. visuals? Yeah, we'll put something together for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, and then the other thing I was going to tell you is, uh, have you ever checked in with the, no, I didn't mean checking in like that. I mean, like, <laughs> like hollering, hollering, yeah, hollering at the homie uh, Skip Thompson. What's say it? Do you know who that is? Skip Thompson? Uh, uh, Skip Thompson. Yeah, Skip Thompson. He's a... Uh, He's like a, a, a piece, a real, uh, 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 like a peace guy out here in the streets in South Central and shit. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you don't know who that is, but 
you should check in with him because, uh, again, not in that way, homie, you know, but, like, you know, you should try to holler at him because he's, he's, uh, he's all about peace, man. And I know that, that at this time right now, um, everything's good out here in the streets, though, but I know you, 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 uh, you carry that peace message yourself, you know, and, yeah. and he's, he's also like real, real involved with the community and doing that peace thing, you know. I'm just speaking on that brown and black, black and brown unity, yeah. homie, you know, that we need out here in the streets, but yeah, you should look him up, homie, and, you know, I, I think that at one point in time, everybody should kind of get together and that'll be like a big message out here, dog, you know, for for everybody and shit. For uh, Like I said, you know, for the brown and black. Huh? No, for sure, for sure. I'm going I'm to tap in with him. I'm going to um, look at his stuff and figure out what's going on. I'm, all, I'm always with the peace and the unity, bro. That's That's been my one of my biggest messages, man, since I came in this thing. So, yeah, I appreciate you for saying that, man, for yeah. real. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, that's why I show you love, too, you know, and the people that don't know who you are, I let them know, you know what I'm saying, that I know, I mean, your, your songs are all about, you know, it's like some real shit, homie. But at the same time, like I say, you pushing that, that unity, homie, and peace, you know. And, and I got nothing but love for you, homie, straight up. You know, nothing but love for that, homie. Man, I appreciate you, dog. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Absolutely. All right, all right on, boy. Yeah, all right, yeah you, guys, you guys uh, keep on pushing, homie. All, all right. right you too, brother. Stay blessed. Okay, let's go. Uh, callers, let's keep it pushing. We have, we, we missed several calls while... Um, here we go. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? This is Derek Maui. Derek calling Maui. from Minneapolis. Minneapolis. What's up, my brother? What's the deal, Yeah, man? I called here for last week. Okay, okay. You got a question for uh, me, Yes. Are you willing to uh, do a collaboration with um, Easy, Easy Isle? Yeah, you you know what's so funny <laughs> with these calls too, like um, it's with the Swifty thing, we got two songs, and then me and Desi, we already got like we, we don't have any songs, but we in constant communication too. So we're gonna bring all of these um these different features and collabs to fruition to the top, you know, once the time is right. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I definitely, you know, and we both light skin with the braids, so nigga, we gotta <laughs> stick together. So yeah, I'm gonna fuck with bro for sure, for sure. I got nothing but love for uh, Oceanside and what he's got going on for sure. Absolutely, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's dope. Absolutely. Yeah, make that happen. Yeah, 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 for sure. All good, Derek. Your shirt should be should be in this week. All right, there. All right, brother. Okay, Tony. You got it. Late. Okay, let's go. Let's keep it pushing. Uh, I'm thinking about drinking right now. You want a beer yet? Yeah. Let me, let me get. Let me get, fuck it. Let me get a beer. Okay. You want Pacifico or Modelo? Um. What you be drink? You know what, Pacific Pacifico? I, I need to do it with the ceviche. Okay. So Modelo, Modelo, give me my can. Call her your name and where you calling from? That is the homie Kike from the city of Escondido. Kike, you know what? You're a faithful caller, bro, and I greatly appreciate you calling in, homie. So much love to you in Escondido. What's going on, Pam? You got a question now, for Yellow up, Hill? Yellow Hill? What's up, Tony? How you yeah, doing? hey, my bad, Tony. I didn't pick you off, pero, um, For Yellow Hill, I got a question and then a follow up, depending on his answer. Um, do you live, uh, strictly live off of your rap money? <laughs> I hear him. Do you do you strictly live off your rap? Money? Oh shit! So it's kind of a personal question, though. That's okay. No, um, I, I got. Okay, no, 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 no. Check this out. Check this out. I don't. I don't mean to cut you off. My bad, bro. It's just that I just wanted to get like some insight, like whether whether you use that and you flip that money, like you could just like lace us up with like some mm -hmm. financial advice, or some shit. Okay. You know? I guess the financial side of the, of the music business. It's tough, bro. I mean, the music business yeah, is I tough. Like yeah, it's tough. The music business is tough. Um, I want to I want to be open and transparent with you, bro. Like, um, it depends on how what your deal is. It depends on how your distribution is and stuff like that. Primarily, I feel like a lot of artists, unless you really like streaming high on distribution platforms, you're not really solely just accumulating all that revenue and just living off of music so with that rap money with that music money with all of that money that you make the idea is to be entrepreneur so you take that rap money and you flip that into something positive say you want to start a line of kool-aid you want to start a line of food or you want to start a clothing line or something like that and then you would take that money and then build off of that and then that's how you create like a, a, a enterprise you create like a business with that and then you watch that money come back you know what i'm saying a lot of motherfuckers that i know that sign deals like they'll flip their money and buy packs and then flip that and then start a business so it's um it's really just like an upfront advance and it's up to you to do what you do you feel me at this point i'm gonna keep a g with you 
um, I'm doing my thing with how I do it. You feel me? So it's just I keep an entrepreneur mindset and just take the money I got and continue um, developing assets with my business. You feel me? I feel me. Yes, sir. Yeah, I didn't mean to get off the question, bro, but uh, thank you for <laughs> thanks for the response, man. No, it's all and, good, bro. Uh, Tony, thanks for giving me the shout out, bro. I'm always calling in and shit, and I appreciate that, bro. You got it, my brother. Muchas gracias, bro, for taking the time. Appreciate hey, you, likewise, brother. Likewise, man. Thank you for having me on the show, and uh, you guys have a beautiful night. All good. Thank you. you thank brother. you. Tonight, uh, tonight I'm drinking a Sol Michelada. I actually, this is the best canned Michelada that I like. The Sol Michelada. Modelo. Modelo. And you got your bottle opener right here? Oh, shit. It's a Modelo bot yeah. bottle opener, guys. Call her your name oh, and where shit. you calling from. Hey, what's up? This is Luna uh, from the 805. What's up, my brother from the 805? You got a question for Yellow Hill? Uh, yeah, well, one, I just want to give you a shout-out, Tony. Just Thank say, you. Uh, and I think this is really dope. Uh, just sitting here watching the show, thinking about, like, you know, I like calling in as well, too, because we are able to you know, reach out to whatever artist and whoever you have on, on the platform. So, you know, shout out to you. That's dope, you know. Like, Thank you, my brother. What chances will I ever get to, like, to say what's up to Yellow Hill? You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's love, but, man. Uh, yeah, hey, Yellow Hill, I just want to say, well, too, well, I've, I've always liked your style, you know what I'm saying? Even, like, I feel like you, I don't, you have your own little genre, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're in the mix, but, like, um, I don't know. And I like that you've never been on a bandwagon. I wanted to say, Thank like, you. I've been fucking with you for some Disney, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, that was it. And then it was like, we're going to drive in the area, bro. So I'm really excited to kind of see light out there and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, we're well, not over to take a shot, you know? Thank you, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Okay, bro. Damn, I like this motherfucker. <clears throat> These motherfuckers hitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All good. Okay, come on, callers. Just keep it pushing. <clears throat> if not, we. We just gonna, he's just gonna continue chewing in your ear. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Call her your name. Where are you calling from? Hey, what's going on, Tony? This is Chewy. I'm over here in Tennessee. What's up, Chewy from Tennessee? What's good, my brother? Chewy, I'm chewing. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, Yellow Hill. What's, what's happening in LA, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, Dude, sir. How the hell aren't you big as hell, man? Your music is dope as fuck. You know what, bro? I always get that shit. I feel like um and this climate musically is just all about timing, man. It's a lot of shit. Like, there's a trend. So when you got the trends and, like, the bandwagons and you got, like, certain styles that are in, it's hard for the fan base. It's hard for the people important to dig underneath and beneath all of that tar to get to that gem. You feel me? So I feel like I'm that gem kind of surrounded by a little tar. It's going to take a little water. It's going to take a little Modelo. But we're going to clear that thing down, babe. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think it's happening too, man, because it happened with uh, with Desi. I see uh, you guys were, were both like, you know, you guys were just kept it real. You guys didn't give up. You guys didn't sell out or nothing. You guys kept it independent. You guys kept it real. And you guys are blowing up. Yes, sir. Uh, I like seeing that. Um, damn, your music is dope as fuck. Hey, um, real quick before I hang up, other music before besides hip hop, what else do you listen to? And uh, with that, I'll give you guys a good night. I'm gonna chug my, I'm I'm drinking some Michelob, watching the car. But you guys have a good night. Good night. Appreciate you, man. What other type of genres do you listen oh, to? Oh shit! I mean, um, nigga, I listen to everything. I was just listening to uh the, uh, the Twilight soundtrack in the car with with my girl. Nigga, I listen to nigga jazz, opera. No, I'm not opera. Classical. J yeah, classical. Okay. Not opera, bro. Come on. Uh, country, R&B, soundscapes, watercolor, all that shit. Dope. Dope. Call her your name or where you calling from? Yeah, this is uh, another shameless plug. Miguelito, Miguelito tattoos on Instagram. Hell yeah. Miguelito tattoos on Instagram. <laughs> That's right. Hell yeah. He's I a faithful caller. my G. Hell yeah. Hit him up. Right here. Fuck it. For free. <laughs> what's, what's that no, Miguelito? no no that's uh that's that's limited time offer tony okay. that's a limited time offer dispensa, dispensa. i'm still waiting for scar hey hey remember when i asked scar to get tatted i'm still waiting for his reply i made his drawing already no shit he wanted to get outlawed remember yeah, remember he yeah. said i want to get outlawed i forget yeah i did for him i'm just waiting on him but hey bro you hey, know, I know he's a busy man scar's the homie but he could be getting buzz here with me and he gets emotional and starts crying and he starts calling <laughs> motherfuckers out <laughs> Bro. Hey. Bro. 
Yeah, that hey, hey, the homie, hey, the homie needs to get the homie needs to get Scar in one of his videos too. Yeah, you're right. You're Who's right. Scar? He's a, a I like to say up and coming actor. He's been in a lot of commercials. He's been in a, a lot of movies, just cameo appearances, and he's gotten pretty famous off of Scar, that. Scar Cholo Street or something. Yeah, that guy. Him. I've seen him before. He has okay. like horns on his head. He got like this shit right. Ears, yes, too. yes, yes. That nigga look like Scar. Yeah, from a Lion King or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah. For so, sure. So what's up, Miguelito? You All got right, a question? So, uh, oh, you already know what I'm gonna ask, Tony. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So look, check it out. Yellow Hill. I want to know if you can do a freestyle for Rodeo Radio. Anything, any freestyle that comes up to the top of your head. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. When you want right, to hear with it. that, I am with that. While you think about it, wow, that's just Tony. All good. Just hold. Okay, go ahead. Cause you want to bust one right now, or you want to wait? Well, that's easy. I could just give. I could just bust one. Just bu- just bust one off the top of the head. At least, okay, hold on. Let's take this call. See, that's what okay, I. Okay, let's take why, the call. Let's take the call. That's why I didn't want him to hang up. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Caller, your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> Brother, it's last name Contreras, first name Box. Box. What's up, my brother? Damn. Legendary right here. All right, here we go, brother. Here we go. <laughs> first and foremost, I want to say saludos to Rodian Radio. You always take my call, and I greatly, greatly appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Um, To the homeboy. Yo. If I'm saying it right, I saw your videos, and I, and I saw what you're doing, and you're doing, uh, you're doing great moves, brother. My question that I have, uh, pertaining to music, um, is there any revolutionary bands or any bands that you listen to as amongst the just rap that influenced you to do your music? Ba- like bands? Reg- yeah, yeah, revolution. Like, like, I'll, I'll give I, you a good example. Okay. I, I, I'll give you an example, brother. Like me, I'm a big fan of Rage Against the Machine. That's oh, yeah. Something that I've always been a big fan of. Yeah. And, um, um, is there is there a band that like not just Rage Against the Machine, but I'm saying like any other bands that influenced you to do what you were doing? Um, I know about Rage Against the Machine. I'm a super rock fan too, bro. I love. I mean, my rock is different though. I like Blink One Eighty Two and fucking um Pennywise, Nickelback. I fuck with um um what is it Green Day? I think that was my era with my 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 rock shit. See, and that's a side that I'm glad fans get to see of you because yeah. they don't expect. They just think Ice Cube. Oh no! Fuck no! No, I don't even, nigga. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. He's not even really. Ice Cube is sick, but he's not even one of my top. Okay, but uh, he's dope though for sure. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, bro. Like, uh, lit. My own worst enemy, Sugar Ray. I, I listen to rock probably more than I listen to rap. Um, as far as revolutionary, hey, say it, no. I'm sorry. So go ahead and say it again. Were you saying? No, no, no. I was agreeing with you. Oh, as, okay, as, well, okay. as far as revolutionary, I, I, I mean, I, I agree with you. And, and the reason why I bring revolutionary up is because. Um, your you, you, your music is positivity, and and why I bring them up is because I don't feel they get the recognition they deserve. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as them type of bands and people coming up and, and doing what they're doing, and me, I'm always one that they'll be like, "Hey, man, listen to theirs, listen to what they're saying. Like this is some positive shit, right. you know? Right. And and up and coming artists definitely should be like, "Hey, man, like check that out, man. Like that's some that's some positive, that's some good music right there, man. Right. And right. give them the light that they need, brother." No, for sure. I feel like revolutionary. I would say more so to be like artists, like so, like Bob Marley. Like, um, I feel like revolutionary characters is um is like like what's his, what's his name? Che Guevara. Um, what's his name? I think that's his name. I, I was reading up on him. Yeah, but, but the, yeah, but, uh, cats like that. You know, Martin Luther King's, the Malcolm X's. I feel like that maybe influenced me as a person, pers- on a personal level, individualistically speaking. But as far as bands, though, I can't say that there was like a specific band that kind of made me feel more revolutionary but yeah man it's been a couple people that influenced me for sure you know sure. some people may not see this as a rev- revolutionary band or some people may but for me you know who was one of the first bands that i ever started sampling huh was war war is dope yeah war war is dope so, so yeah man war is so yeah dope. definitely I listen to War. I listen to um slave slave but i mean yeah yeah it's a couple <laughs> man it's so much it's so much bro it's all too good much. all good box Appreciate you, bro. That was cool. Hey, thank you very much for taking my call. Okay, Cardinal. Thank you very much for taking my call. Box legendary in my name. That's right. All right. Uh, Let me give a shout out to American Cholo. He is in the live chat. He is in the building. Everybody greet American Cholo in in the live chat. I heard of him, too. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, Gil. Um, Okay, let's take this call. 
caller, your name, and where are you calling from? What's up, uh, Nelson from Fontana? What's up, Nelson uh, from Fontana? What's, what up, man? Yellowhill, man, big fan. I just want to know what you think about uh, the biggest uh, pimp in the rap game getting married. Sugar, motherfucking free. <laughs> no, is that uh, – caller, let me ask you this. Is that real yeah. or is that like uh, a, a, a social media spoof? So – you, I don't know. He, he has uh, a ri- he has a ring on his finger. Oh, oh. I just I, I just feel like I've been lied to my whole life. Okay, I don't so, know. Okay, so look, this is it, right? So, Sugar Free, Sugar Free is like a he like an uncle to me, bro. Honestly, like we really like we built a relationship, and uh, we got tons of music coming out. We just dropped one music video, but we got like two more music videos and three more songs coming out within the next month, right? Yeah. So, I talked to him. And uh, he has changed his life in a, uh, in a better light, I feel like, in a different light. You feel me? I feel like he hung up the pimp coat, and um, he's putting on that groomsman, that groomsman suit. So he he is married. I talked to him and his wife on the phone for an hour and a half. Uh, he's trying to get right with God. He's trying to, you know, move differently. Um, you know, it happens, bro. It happens. You know, when you out running the muck and you're doing your thing for a long time, sometimes, you know, your spirit gets weary. And what you really wanted the whole time was a relationship with a woman and with Jesus or with re- relationship with God. So, um, he's, he's on that, he's on that wavelength right now. That's his frequency right now. You feel me? Hey, you know what, man? I'm glad you said that. And you know what? Good for you, him, man. Not, yeah, good good for him. I'm, I'm happy for him. And you're not ashamed to say that name because a lot of people yeah. are ashamed to say the name Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm yeah. glad you said it, brother. No, for sure. Yeah, you know, for sure. Maybe this time he could come through because, you know what? I had him booked. Uh, uh, excuse me, Carnal. Um, I had him booked um, before COVID hit, bro. Yeah. And when that shit hit, yeah. they, nobody wanted to come out. Yeah, so ho- yeah. So hopefully this time he can come out now. No, for sure. It, 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 so, so you guys have been in the lab together. Um, is this a remedy for rapping the same? Like, does he still go go hard off that sconce and just go hard on that, hard on that mic? Because I know he goes hard off the sconce, my boy. I know, and, and I love it. I, I love that energy. Is, yeah, is that yeah. still part? Of, is that still part of his remedy? And, I, and if it is, do you have a little indulgence in that too? Oh no, 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 not at all. No, I barely. And you know what? This is you can ask me for my girl, man. This is like my first drink. I, I occasionally drink. Um, he goes in there and he sips. And he just lets the beat do the, it's just, it's, it's the same process. It's just, he kind of goes in there and just goes crazy. Like sugar free will listen to a beat and he'll be like, all right, give me a minute, man. Give me a minute. And then he'll sit and he'll just digest it for me. And he's like, man, fuck it. Throw that beat on, man. And he'll go in there and just start spazzing and he'll tell you to stop. And he'll be like, how that sound? And he'll start jumping in. And that's, that's his remedy for, uh, for recording music and shit. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, you know what? When you, when you, when you do a track with him next time, I need him to relapse one last time. For the real fans, I need him to <laughs> relapse one last time and, and go hard on a funky ass motherfucking track. I need that. Please do that for me, Yellow Bill. Okay, so the next two songs, the next six songs <clears throat> that we got coming out, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the next six songs that we got coming out, um, it's all his old. F- he, he he not rapping about nothing different, bro. It's the same shit. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's you gonna feel the same vibe. Hey, bro. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna share a story with you, caller. My brother caught uh, okay. Sugar Free. He caught Sugar Free like off guard. Yeah. But Sugar Free bounced back. He goes, Sugar Free, I'm going to go ahead and interview you. So he recorded himself. Mm-hmm. And he said, you said on a song, this is my brother, he's not a rapper. He said, you said on a song, bitch, jump in the air and stay there. And when I tell you to come down, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he goes, what exactly did that mean? Can you explain it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sugar Free was like, he was like this. That just goes to show how serious we are. <laughs> Bro, he's... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Then he goes like this. My brother goes, oh, okay. He goes, as a matter of fact, that bitch is still up there. <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. On my next track, I'll just give you a line. He keeps he keeps spilling the beans, but on my next track, on his verse, he said, he said, he said, bitch, if I wanted you to speak, I would have stuck my hand up in your ass and controlled your mouth like a puppet. <laughs> That's what he's. That's how he started my next song. That's how he started it. And I looked at him and I said, I said, looked at him. I was like, Uncle, what? Are you, what? And he was like, Yeah. I said, Say it again. He said, Bitch, if I wanted you to speak, I would have stuck my hand up your ass and controlled your mouth like a puppet. Damn. He was crazy, bro. He takes it to a different level. He's yeah. definitely talented, though. I would have scratched in. I'm not straight, your straight, puppet. Straight yeah. your pedal. Straight your pedal on these hoes, man. Straight your pedal. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That shit is dope. That shit That's is dope. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then he ends up I'm, he ends up with saying, uh, next week I'm dropping Viagra toothpicks. Oh, he's not Viagra toothpicks. <laughs> he's so, not so girls, if you guys see a guy walking up to you with a toothpick in his mouth, you guys already know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's nuts. <laughs> All good. All good. Whoa. All good, my brother. Thank you for calling in, man. I greatly appreciate that, homie. All right. Thank you, guys. Keep uh, it up. Keep it up. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We got we got enough time. Let's go. <laughs> that nigga's crazy, man. Yeah, that dude, that dude is on, another, is on a good one. <laughs> Call your name or where are you calling from? What's up? It's Derek Mallory again. Derek Mallory from uh, Minneapolis. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yes, sir. That's different. Are you thinking about doing a a versus battle against uh, Daisy Hollow? I don't think. Um, I mean, I'll go up against anybody. I feel like I'll go up against anybody, and then I've just always I, my mindset has always come out on top. Um, I guess like a versus, you know what I'm versus saying? though. Yeah. yeah, we have two different genres of music. Yeah, it is. It is. But we. I feel like people compare us sometimes because we're light skinned with braids. <laughs> His, you know, his right. stuff is more so funk, and I'm I do everything. Yes, I got G funk, funk, gangster rap, R and B, new school, regular beats, trappy beat. I do everything, bro. You know what's one of my fucking best songs from you? I'm gonna be straight up because I'm old school. Yeah, remember uh, Tales from the Hood? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. one, right? Even the fucking video's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that shit, bro. Good looking. That shit is dope, bro. If you guys don't know, it's called Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. Yeah. Tales from the go look that shit up. The fucking that's a good movie, bro. No, that's you're talking about the movie. I'm talking about the video, his song. Yeah. Check it out. Oh. Hey, Derek Mallory. As a matter of fact, part of that Tales from the Hood movie was filmed one block around, away from me. Yeah. So. Just letting you know. Mm. So, so whenever you come out here, I'll take you, homie. Because I told you I'm going to get you on the show one day. Okay. So That's right. Yes, Minneapolis sir. in the building. Yes. All right, my brother. You stay blessed, homie. You too. All right. Let's go. All right, callers. Let's go. We got the callers coming in. Yeah, bro. We we missed. It's funny because they come in, especially when they're calling. We missed like three or four calls. Oh, shit. Yeah. Callers, your name or where you calling from? Hey, this is Saturday from Houston, Texas. Yes, how you doing from Houston, Texas in the building? What's your name? What's your name? Shazzy. Hey, Eric. Shazzy. Shazzy. Oh, Shazzy. Okay. What's going on? I got Hey, how you doing? What it do? I got a uh, two questions. So my uh first question for you, Yellow Hill. Would you ever consider working with DJ Dominator? My my apologies if you already have, but have you considered working with him? Are you familiar with DJ Dominator? Uh, where's he from? He's from Santa Maria, the 805. Okay, going up north. Yeah, well, about two hours away from us. Oh yeah, mid Central California. I haven't. I don't. I'm. I'm not familiar with the name, but I'm always down to work with everybody, bro. Yeah, he, he's got a really, really dope style, bro. Okay, so he's got. A, and as a matter of fact, when I interviewed da, uh, Desi here, uh, when I heard his style, I said I'm gonna call somebody. So I called two people. Yeah, like my homegirl Magic Girl, and I called my homeboy. Uh, uh, DJ Dominator I said you need to hook up with these two yeah yeah. and he did a lot he did several songs with uh, already with DJ Dominator okay DJ okay. Dominator bro is one of those guys that's like the hidden gem just like yourself bro okay okay so, yeah I gotta check him out then shit that no, sounds cool yeah, yeah I would definitely dope. be open to working with him for sure yeah he's dope what's your second question Shazzy okay y'all are gonna have to forgive me for being a little petty but Yellow Hell, are you at all related to Busy Bones? Because I just can't help but notice you look a whole lot like Busy Bones <laughs> from both sides of harmony. <laughs> oh, shit. I get that a lot, though. No, um, really? you yeah, I get that all the time. Busy Bone and... Yeah, no, I'm not related to uh, to Busy Bone, but shout out to the Bone Thugs. They grew up listening to them for sure, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, all good all good Shazzy hopefully you got your answer but no he's not related mm -mm. but you know you, Shit, you never it. nigga I just did Ancestry.com so you never know I might pull him up on my Ancestry kid he might be a distant uncle or something you know or a, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, you know, know you never know shit all right, all right, that'll work. Oh yeah. no, see now if he happens to be a distant cousin, then you got to be able to change your whole flow. We we need you to start spitting like you a Bone Thugs and Harmony member, or like a Tech Nine member. Yeah, you got to yeah. go and do that Spitfire stuff. 
It's yeah. gala related. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, Shazzy. Thank you. Appreciate you, Shazzy. Thank y'all so much. Have a blessed night. Okay, let's go. All right, callers, let's keep it pushing. We probably got about 25 more minutes. Let's get it. So let's go. Other than that, you having a good time, bro? Oh, man, I'm chilling, bro. I got. I'm looking at a bunch of memorabilia. I got the Modelo's going. You got the shot still waiting, man. I got the shot waiting and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Call her your name or where you calling from? Hey, what's up? This is Luna. I'm saying, uh, I forgot to mention something to you, Tony. This is more more strictly for you as well. Okay. Um, have you ever because I uh, thought about doing stuff with like the Funk Freak from OC? You know what, bro? I've heard of them. I I I, I deep. Respectfully, I ask: uh, Are they singers or are they are they um, producers? I'm not sure. Um, I want to say I want to say that they're, they're they're a movement right now. They're they're called Funk Freak, and the reason why I say it is because they come out here to the Eagle Park to uh, Ventura, uh-huh. and they actually have a, a a big show this weekend. But what the reason why I bring it up is watching like what well, Yahoo actually kind of made me think of this whole thing, and then I thought of you of DJing because they're on a positive note, and they are definitely about black and brown and just uniting people in general. Um, but they put on a lot of shows with like Diamond Ortiz, you know, um, yeah. he, he does a talk box and stuff. He's bad, man. He would be another good guy. And actually I talked to him and uh, I caught him at a, at a concert. We actually parked right next to each other, chopping it up with them. And I always mention you, Tony, uh, all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you, and uh, he's like, dude, it'd be so dope to come out on, on that show, you know, but anyhow, look them up. They're called the Funk Freaks. They're out of Orange County, but, you go to these shows and it's nothing but funk. funk. I mean, they're still bumping like old school stuff. But what I like about it is like you see a lot of people from everywhere, man. And uh, it, it's all you never see any fights because they, they put a stop to that shit real quick. You know, they're like, hey, you know, what? this is not that's we don't do that here. You know, what I mean, the DJ will stop and they spend nothing but vinyl as well, too. You know, so um, and then. Really quick, yeah. Look into him, Tony. It'll be it'll be up to you to see the Funk Freaks or Diamond or she's on your show because again, they they're out there doing their thing and uh, Yellow here as well. Like, um, really quick, I think. I mean, it's dope just to hear your music, man. Like, I, I called in a little while ago just on how genuine your style is, is 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 dope. But right now, listening to the other callers, man, I I think with some of your stuff, like I know you're you're all about the positive stuff as well too, and then you speak on the real way life is and just recently through one of your songs and I don't really want to put it out there but you taught me some stuff where I started googling some stuff if that makes any sense I saw one of your recent videos and uh yeah man I was just like kind of put me down a little rabbit hole you know but I googled something that I seen on one of your music videos and I was like oh dang but I think it would be dope to see you bust something out more on like that rage against the machine or something more of like that like I don't know how can I say because you have that aggressiveness mm-hmm. when you more like on some, on some rock tip. Okay, yeah, okay, that's yeah, good. man, that would be sick. That's, that's yeah, sick. So, but yeah, hey, shout out to everybody and uh, yeah, good night, man. Thank you, Kanada. cheers, bro. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Uh, it, it the dope thing about these calls is that you got fans calling in and pretty much telling you, I would like to hear something like this from you. Kind of maybe just open up your mind that's to sick. maybe something different. You know what I'm saying? I love that, bro. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So. Okay, let's go. We got another one. Caller, your name, or where are you calling from? Bevel, I'm calling from Glendale. What's up, my brother? That's What's my boy up? right there. What up, Zero? <laughs> when he was younger. What's cracking when he with was it, younger. Huh? This is my boy right here. What's up with the little Bevs, Bevo? You're not little anymore, What's man. What's up with it? <laughs> hey, hey, this is a big homie right here, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. West Side Glendale it's, shit, huh? It's, yeah, you're, you know, because... This, this dude right here, man, I grew up with this guy. This guy always, dog, was doing some dope shit growing up, bro. Always this foot. Mo- Let him know, dog, that you could dance in this motherfucker, too. Let bro, him know I what's could, up, homie. I, I broke down. Nigga, niggas, could, niggas could do it all. Crump, nigga, we was crumping. Hey, smoking I, smoking I weed. Hey, dog, this some video earlier. Yeah, smoking weed, crumping, nigga, skateboarding, all kind of shit. Nigga, just having fun as kids, hey. man. This dude growing up, bro, always fly as fuck, dog. Always, always dancing, always doing some dope shit, man. Like, it's crazy because I watch the podcast all the time and shit. And I was with his little nephew. The first time he came on, I was with his little nephew. And his little, ne- I had just sold my car to his little nephew. And then 
I'm watching the podcast and I'm like, holy, holy shit, this is a homie right here, you know? Yeah, 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 so yeah. It's good. <laughs> hey, it's good to see your success, bro. You Thank know you, I mean? bro. For real. You already know I got mad love for you. It's been it's been years, man. Hey. Yeah, man. Yeah. This this dude this dude is a homie, bro. I just wanted to tap in real quick and uh just give a shout out real quick. No, for sure, for sure, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to Bebo from Glendale. Shout out to all my my boys out there, man. You already know, homie. All right, my brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. All right, brother. All right, Bev. You recognize him right away, huh? Yeah, when he when he, when I was like this, he was like right here. So he was watching a lot of the shit go down, and he was always in the mix. Little homie right there. But he's not a little homie no more. You got to give him his respect. Let's go. Call her your name, or where are you calling from? Yo, yo, this is Robert calling from Nebraska. I just have something to say. There's um a negative message going around that we're like extremely divided and we super hate each other. That is not even the case, man. There's a lot of unity amongst our people and I've seen it. Um I have, I have a question for you, Tony. Have you gone to go see like 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 a group play, like a grupo or like a band out in California? Have I gone to see a band out in California? Yeah, like 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 some kind of group, like you know, a corrido group. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I just I, dude, dude, yeah, dude, it, dude. In those shows, man, I I I I go and see that dude. Um, dude, there's hella raza like right there united, and yeah, it's just surprising to hear people say that we hate each other, and that's not even the case. Just because we don't support somebody that raps, just because we don't support somebody that as a podcast uh that doesn't mean we hate each other um we're just like new with this whole social media thing and yeah man my whole point is is there is unity amongst our people and yeah we just gotta just stick together because straight up nobody out here gives a fuck about us and yeah brown unity first Absolutely. have a good night tony all right brother thank you man thank you i i guess he was just pretty much just sharing that I know what the, the fuck he was talking the, the, about. The, the, there's, there's people out there saying that Raza does, can, cannot get along with Raza. So he was trying to say... Oh, like that, like northern or southern or shit? No, or? no, just in general, Raza. Oh, okay, just, okay. Raza I, know, I don't know what the fuck he was talking... I mean, because I'm, I'm Raza too, but I'm right. like black and Mexican, but I'm like, I'm right. trying to... I'm, I'm like, what are you... What? Right. Well, you know... Okay. Let's, but no, I hear you. No, I feel you not. Yeah, let's take this call. call you know, let's get, okay, well, I already know who the fuck this is. Yeah. <laughs> He's making part two tonight. Let's go, Box. Yes, I am. <clears throat> just I am. This is last thing with that's first thing, Box, legendary. Um, I just wanna I wanted to touch base. Again, saludos for always taking my call. You're my brother, and I am making part two. But the vatos in the comments need to cool out and stop running their mouth. And that it's getting me heated when we're having nothing but positivity in this room and, and, and with with our special guest here yes. and you vatos over there running your mouth. I don't like that. That that, that now you're getting the box heated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You well, want to do that with me? Yeah, I know. It's, it's all that's good. last thing, Contreras first thing, box. So, Ratos, they have an issue tomorrow. I'll be in El Monte right there off Garvey and Merced. If you guys got an issue pending hey. against the box, go yeah. ahead. I'm just, I'm not even trying to invite um, violence or nothing like that. But it's, it's heating me, brother. It's heating me. It's all good. You know, I bring nothing but positive positivity to everything, brother. All good, box. You know what you, and, what you should do? Stay off the live chat, bro. Those motherfuckers are doing it on purpose. They're just trying to have fun with you, bro. Ain't nobody going to show up. Look, I've been doing this uh, for three years. And uh, let me tell you something, Yellow Hill. On the real, I, I've had over about 300 episodes here, okay? Yeah. Whether it's Rodian Radio, whether it's Freaky Tales, whether it's Dining with the Wizard, Drinking with the Wizard, Verse for Verse. Not one hater ever came knocking on my door. Yeah, That's yeah, how many yeah. people have my address. Bro, I know. It's just, it's just... So, yeah. don't worry about it, boss. We got you, homie. What happened? What's going on in the comments? I, 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 I guess they're dissing him. It, oh, him? It, it, oh. Yeah, they, 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 they've been doing that, man. They've been copying my name, saying all this and all that. Oh. So, I give any invitation to anybody. I'm easy to find. All easy right. to He's find. Like and, but uh, again, yeah. thank you, brother. Thank you for taking my call. Appreciate all right, you, brother. Thank, thank you. you. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Stop this in the box. Come on. Whoa. Like, but you know what? I'm gonna say this because the box said he's gonna start up his own podcast. Box, my I should have told you this in person, but you gotta have thick skin for this, bro. Oh yeah, you gotta have thick skin. You know, roll with the punches. We got the IE fools and the LE fools all in the comments. So much love to those guys. So let's keep it pushing. What's that? We got fake fools now. 
Bay Fools. All right, Bay Fools, thank you. And uh, uh, welcome, Bay Fools, to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, to Calls with the Wizard Rodian Radio once again. So go ahead and um, if, if you're not going to call, go ahead. You want to go ahead and maybe uh, do that little 16-bar spit? Um, or you want to wait to the end? Just whatever, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's take a little sip of that because I know your girl's going to drive. She'll drive for you. So, And watch a scary movie. Make sure you put on a good one tonight. What is this right here? San Nicolas? What is this? Where is this from? This is Espolón Tequila Blanco. Fire as fuck. Let's get it. I like it, bro. I already drank mine. So, call her your name or where you're calling from. <laughs> hey, Tony A. What's going on? What's up, my brother? Calling from uh, Oakland. <sighs> calling from Oakland. What's the Bay Area? That's smooth, though. Yes. Yeah, that's right. What's the Hey, uh, Yellow Hill, man. What's good, G? Much love to you, too. Yes, sir. Telling, telling, telling. Hey, I'll just give you a call just to uh, just say what's up, man. Keep grinding. Um, definitely fuck with your music, man. So much love. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you, bro. All right. Let's- all right. You know, we appreciate all these callers calling in, taking the time while you eat, while you eat your pollo loco. Nigga, I'm still eating this cold shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I'm about to go. I'm, I'm probably going to eat some ceviche afterwards. From where? But, well, I bought it earlier, right before we went live. Oh, that just sounds bomb. So, some ceviche. With some with some Valentinas, oh. tapatio or what? Tapatio. Are you tapatio? You don't do Valentina? Every once in a while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got okay. I got somebody right here. Right okay. <laughs> I know who this caller is. So go ahead, my brother. Tell us what you're calling I, I from. I thought you blocked me, Tony. I call I call like three times. I like got fucking groupie, fool. <laughs> 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 What's up, Carnal? What's up, my brother? What's good? What's good, Tony? How we doing? How's Yellow Hill doing, man? I'm doing splendid, my brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, my man. Hey, dude, great, great podcast, great, great energy. Yellow Hill is a guy who's very talented. Uh, I've seen his stuff on Instagram. He keeps it down. He's gangster as fuck, but in in a, in a positive way, brother. And that's what we need, Tony. And uh, I just want to call in and just get the support to you guys, man. It's a great, it's a great show. Great phone calls, homie, and much love, Carnal. Hey, hey Gil, uh, um, let, let, let's make the connect. Uh, let's get this guy on your podcast, Carnal. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah let, let, let's do it, brother. Hey, but, but, hey, it, it's, it's a great podcast, homie. I love it, brother. It's good stuff, brother. Thank you, my brother. I truly appreciate you, homie. I, I, I just want to call in and tell you I support both of you guys. Tony, I support Yellow Hill. Great stuff, homie. It's all love. American Cholo, we tapped in, brother. Let's do this. That's right. Oh, that's American Cholo. That's him. Okay, right okay. Yes, sir. That's that guy, homie. That's that guy. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. I didn't hear it in the beginning, but I'm, now I'm hearing it. I, I'm going to connect you guys. You, you could do an interview uh, out there, bro. Oh, for sure. I fuck with him. Yeah, hell okay. yeah. That's all love. All right, all right, fellas. So you guys have a great night. I want to tap in with you guys. Tell you I support you guys to the fullest, man. And uh, and you guys keep doing your thing. Keep shiny, brother. Much, Much love. love. Much love, my brother. Appreciate you. Gracias. All right, fellas. All right, Bye, my man. All right, let's keep it pushing. Let's go while he eats his cold pollo right. loco. <laughs> <laughs> cold pollo, cold pollo loco. El, el, po- el, po- el pollo frío. El pollo frío, <laughs> sí. El pollo frío. Absolutely. El frío loco. Bro, a lot of people don't fucking realize how much I look forward to fucking Halloween, bro. Nigga, me too. Uh, Halloween is my shit. Fuck. I go to sleep with the Michael Myers mask. Anyways, let's go. Call her. Your name. <laughs> and where are you calling from? Halloween. I go to sleep with the Michael Myers mask. Hey, I'm calling from Manteca, California. Uh, from where? Manteca. Ranch- Ranchito. Okay, please turn down your television, por favor. No, Man- Manteca. Oh, Manteca. But Manteca, please. California. Yeah, turn down your television, bro, because it's echoing. Oh, my television. Is this Tony? Yes. Oh, Tony. Nice to meet you. I'm I'm, I'm a brand new fan of yours. That's love. Thank you, brand my brother. Brand new fan. I, I, you know, I've seen, I, I seen what you did with David Roach. I met him in person. He, awesome. He changed my life. But I got I to gotta keep coming out the closet over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, man, for calling in. Uh, you got a question for me or Yellow Hill? Uh, just, just keep. I have a question for you. Yes. What, what, what is your future like? Oh, for for me or for him? For you. Yeah, your future. What, for you, what is your future like? It's bright and glorious. You know, <laughs> van glorious. You know. Now, now, let me tell you something, man. Um, my plans is to continue to. Raise my children, even though they're all, they're, they're all in their twenties. One of them's in the thirties, but to continue to be instrumental in their lives, man, continue to be a good uh, teacher, a role model for them. 
uh, teach them how to be a good father and teach them how to love. Because uh, I tell my children all the time I love them. I, uh, I, I tell my grandbabies. I have three grandbabies and I got one on the way uh, that I love them. You know, so th that's my thing, bro. You know, I mean, you know, I'm 54 years old and I don't, I, I believe I got more years behind me than in front of me. So from here on out, yeah. my message is love and uh, that's what I want to push. So, um, and I want to bless others. Hey, uh, nothing, I, I believe. Not, not, nothing, nothing study. Go ahead. No, I, I believe from here on out, my mission is to, uh, because I've been blessed, I want to bless others, man. So, yeah. from here on out, that's my life. Hey, may Allah bless and keep you. And nothing has been studied more than the subject of love by human beings. Thank Take you. care, Tony. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, let's keep it pushing. They're over there cracking up, bro. <laughs> Them over there. They're probably laughing off the live chat or you're laughing off, off of me. For real? Okay. <laughs> look, 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 look at it, look at it. <laughs> Well, at least she's having a good time. That's a good I thing. Know, I know. Because tonight she's going to put on a good-ass scary movie on for you, homie. I know, I know. I so, feel it. I can feel the good energy. Let's put on Chucky 1. Yeah. You know, fuck it, nigga. <laughs> Scream 1. <laughs> Scream 1 is the shit. Chucky 1 is the shit. Chucky 1 is so dope that when he threw his ass in the elevator and the lady goes, that's an ugly dog. Chucky goes, fuck you. <laughs> that one's a good one. <laughs> that one's a great one. <laughs> Hey, hey! The best Halloween though to me is H two O. Really? One of them? No, 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 no! You said that's the best one. H two O is hard, bro. Buster Rhymes and LL. Man, uh, well, you know, being a hip hop fan, you know, you like seeing your heroes in those kind of movies, but, but you to, but you want to keep it separate. So, yeah. Well, to me, it's the first one. Yeah. That's the best one ever. Yeah. That's, that's just me. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Call her your name, or where are you calling from? Albuquerque, Eric. What's up, my brother? What's up, G? Hey, Yellow Hill, man. I just want to tell you, man, I'm an OG rock, so I'm like 48. But you know what, man? Your flow is fucking wicked, man. You know what? You remind me of being locked up in the L.A. County and homies banging on the fucking table, and you motherfuckers just flowing it. You, feel, I feel you, bro. You got a good flow, dog. Thank you, you keep bro. Keep up the good work. That's love. Thank right you for on, saying man. that. Right on, man. God bless you. And, and yeah, and um, um, Tony A, man, God bless you too. And you guys keep on doing your work, man. Muchas gracias, Canal. God bless, homie. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay, okay callers, if you want to call in, if you got the balls, make the calls. We've got about 10 more minutes, tops. Okay, so let's keep it pushing. If not, we're going to continue talking Halloween shit. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Fuck yeah. Bro, when I was a, oh fuck, here we go. Damn, we got a caller like that bothers me. Caller, your name and where you calling from? As the homie Kiki from the city of Escondido. Oh know? shit, second time, part two. Let's go. Let's go, Lido. Hey, uh, to Yellow Hill. Hey, uh, bro, you think you're mixed, right? You said what did he say? Uh, he said you think you're, uh, mixed. you're mixed. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, I am mixed. Um, um, how how far can you trace your lineage from both sides of your family, bro? How far could I what? You trace your family you from... Your oh, pretty far, pretty far, bro. Yeah, I, far. I did an Ancestry.com test a long time ago, and then I just did another one because when I did my first one, I was young, so I don't really remember. But, um, yeah, I got great-grandfathers and grandmothers. Most most of my um, heritage comes from Native American, um, you know, Mexican, and, and then I got, you know, I'm black. So, yeah, man, I got a, I got a common medium of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, ha have you gone back to like like any of the motherland like type shit? No, I haven't had the um. I've been to you know I went back to Jalisco, Guadalajara. That's where my dad he has like a ranch and you know we got businesses, horses, chickens, cows. We got all kind of shit out there. So motherland wise, I've been out there, but That's yeah, yeah. But I haven't been to like my my reservation. I haven't been to anything like that. But as far as everything else, like in Jalisco, that's where I go sometimes, bro. You like it out there? Oh, that's yeah, it's fucking dope. dope. I, I, this shit's crazy. It's it a is. different vibe. It is. It's a beautiful thing, man. You get your mind off a lot of there. It's stress relieving. <laughs> Throw your fucking cell phone in the glove compartment and go have fun. Yeah, for real. That's you know that vibe. Saying? You know what I'm saying? The 90s, baby. Fuck yes, this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you want to get rid of 90% of your problems, turn off your cell phone. It's so crazy. You can. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
For real. You'd be surprised how happy you are if you turn that shit off. Exactly. Isn't that crazy? It, yes. It, it's a blessing, Trent. Get on it, handle your business, and get the fuck off, nigga. You know, if you ever want to... Uh, you know what I always say? Cheat on your phone and read a book. There you go. Cheat on your phone, phone and, and read, read a, a damn book. book. Throw that motherfucker in the cupboard and throw in a scary movie. Let's go. All right, cut <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you, homie. Hey, thank you. You got it. Uh, we got a couple of, we got a time for a couple of more calls. I'm trying to think about what movie I'm going to watch tonight. Fuck. Uh, me and her, if she's up to it, I want to watch the first Annabelle. Okay. Yeah. Call her your name really? or where you calling from? Uh, this is Pablo uh, Escobar from East LA. Pablo Escobar. Hell yeah. Uh, did you break out? Oh, no, no. You're, you're, <laughs> did you come back? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, my, my dad was a fan, so he named me Pablo, and my last name is Escobar. Oh, shit. All but, right. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, what you think about back in the 90s when uh, Vanilla, Ice, Vanilla Ice was on top of the world, number one rapper, winning Grammys, all of a sudden <laughs> the black problem, and Chuck Knight almost killed him, threw him out the window from what I hear. Yeah. What you think about that? Well, well... I didn't think much about it other than that it was true. <laughs> you know, you know, he didn't collaborate and listen. <laughs> so, Tony, you're, All right, right. <laughs> Tony, you're crazy, bro. <laughs> but it's true, though. <laughs> so, I, 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 that, I didn't think much about it, yeah, and then it was just true. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, bro. And now, then nigga got hung off of a rail. That's yeah. it. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's on him, bro. You know, you can't come to the hood and... You know what? L.A. ain't safe. L.A. is not safe, nigga. <laughs> L.A. is not Miami. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? L.A. is not Miami where Vanilla's from? Yeah, exactly, bro. So, yeah, he got... He got all right, all right. Yeah, that, that's on him now. Now he's renovating homes. I didn't think much of it. So, <laughs> so, he should not in prison. That's no bueno. Yeah, that's not good. Because he because he refused to dance in videos. <laughs> so, oh my God, bro! So, <laughs> hey, good. but he got Grammys. You gotta give him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, I do. All right, my brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you for calling in. All homie. right. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> All right. It, look, we got time like for like maybe two more calls and we out of here. Let's do it, bro. Two more calls. Let's go. Nice Come on. This shit fun. I love this shit. Stop bullshitting. Let's go. This shit is fun, Tony. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you, my brother. And and I'm glad you feel comfortable eating too here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Family. That's all good. Absolutely. Let's go. All right. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to call, then we're just going to go ahead and jump into some scary movie shit because you guys are still watching. So that's all that matters. Oh, shit. Ain't nobody got the balls to make the calls. Let's go. Yo, here we go. Make the here calls, man. Call her your name and where are you calling from? What up, what up? This big new phone from Fresno, Khalifa. That's right. Hey, what's what's up, my brother from Yellow Fresno? Hill. That's right. Yeah, Yellow Hill. Yeah, double nickel nine. Yellow Hill, keep putting it down for the brown and the black. You know, brown and black represent. You know what I'm saying? It's. It's a good thing that we're finally coming together. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck the politics. We need to unite. Absolutely, bro. You know why? You know why that's a beautiful message is because I have black skins in my family. You know, my, my, my brother married a black woman. And, you know, I got black nephews and nieces. So, you know, that's a beautiful thing. So when people say like, hey, Tony, why are you having this? You know what, bro? I got black in my family. I got white in my family. I got Filipino in my family. I got Vietnamese in my family. I got Italian and Irish in my family. Yeah. Bro. So, you know what? I'm not with all that, homie. Yeah. So, that's all good, homie. Hell yeah, man. All Appreciate right, fellas, that, have bro. A good night. You too, brother. Thank you for that, bro. Muchas gracias. So, it's all good. Ah, oh, shit. I'm having a fucking blast, bro. This is fun, bro. I've had too many shots. Do you need a refill or no? I'm straight. Come on. She, she's <laughs> driving. She got, she's got the... She's putting on the movie. You know what's so, so crazy? Wait, hold on. Call her oh. your name or where are you calling from? Oh, uh, this is uh, Beto from Arizona. Phoenix. That's right. What's up, Beto from Arizona? Much love to Arizona, bro. Oh, uh, thank you. I was going to say, no, no, Tony, you know, uh, I like your podcast. You know, I've been watching it for a minute. And, uh, you know, I got a chance to tune in Bear during a little late, but 
You know, I just want to tell uh, Yellow Hood. You know, I've been listening to your music, bro, and you you, you got you got a, you got your own style and stuff. But I, I wanted to ask you, um, uh, forgive me if I haven't, you know, I I I'm really watching the live right now. I was gonna ask you, um, was some of your style inspired by um by uh, Nipsey Hussle, the late, you know, Nipsey Hussle, gonna... and um, mm-hmm. do you? And, uh, and my other question is, um, what what are your plans in the future? Um, and I, I, like I said, I kind of came in late. Um, you you would you consider working with other like uh, um, artists like you've uh, currently been working with? Okay, uh, let, let's do the number one question, Nipsey Hussle. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. I get a lot of uh, comparisons and you know people compare me to him so much. Um, sure, shit, yeah, man, he's great. I feel like maybe listening to him, I got influenced by his flow. Sometimes I, I have like three, four different flows. One of my flows sounds kind of like similar to his, and then okay. the other three flows is just like poof original yellow hill um so yeah i feel like i got a lot of influence from uh of, yeah for sure hell yeah, yeah. Hell uh, yeah. Y- you know what uh look let me tell you something a lot of rappers get influenced by other rappers just the same way when i grew up djs get influenced by other djs bro when it comes to cutting and scratching we get influenced bro yeah like my biggest influence in my life was a guy named uh king of scratch joe cooley a lot of people know him from rodney on joe cooley and I met him when I was like 15 years old, bro. And that was my mentor. Yeah. And I wanted to be just like him, bro. He was yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. He was like the fucking Albert Einstein on the fucking turntables. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. so uh, you know, we do get influenced. So a lot of times when you hear a hint of either scratching or a hint on our lyrics. Yeah. It came from them because yeah. we're honoring them. Exactly. Exactly. So. How could you not be? Exactly. So. Influence. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. Definitely. I would definitely. If I said that I wasn't, I'd be lying. Yeah. You okay. know, so I'm going to keep it real. Uh, what was your second question, bro? Oh, my second question was, um, like I said, I came a little late on the live, but um, do you have a future plans of making uh, more music with uh, more artists? Um, I, kinda, I think I saw a little bit of you were saying that you wish you had uh, other artists, major artists that you work with, but. Um, do you have any more plans in the future? I mean, pretty sure you will, but, you know, came a little late, you know? Uh-huh. Okay, well, he mentioned Swifty Blue, that he's got some stuff, and he's going to be working yeah. with Desi Hollow. And uh, he said he would like to work with Lauren Hill. And uh, um, what was the other one you said? I think Swifty Blue... Swifty Blue, Desi... Oh, yeah, uh, but the the big the, the yeah. big artist, like Desi Hollow... Um, and who else? What would I say? You said Swifty Blue, Desi Hollow, Lauren Hill, and there was one more. You just like I like to, I like to do some shit with him. I forgot who it was. Bro. I know, I know, me too. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's the fucking this below. It's that the shit right there. Yeah. So God damn. Is there anybody else you would like to mention? I guess for him, as a caller, that possibly you would like to work with anybody else. Um. Uh, in general, I can't really uh, think of anybody. But uh, oh, was that a question for him? For for you? No, no, for it was, me? Yeah, it's for you. Oh, who else? Oh. Because because you gave me two names and I forgot the, the, yeah. the first one. Yeah. Um. No, bro. I think everybody that on my, that's on my radar is pre- kind of just mediocre right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, shit. There it is. There. Hey, at <laughs> yeah, least you're you honest. I can't. I, I can't ask for more. Yeah. But caller, thank you, bro. Look, uh, I know. Yeah, you said definitely. Thank you, thank you, Yellow Hill. Uh, uh, I was in LA earlier because I'd be uh, truck driving over there, but I was uh, I was listening to the LA is not safe and stuff, you know. So I was just like for a little bit, you know, on uh, YouTube streaming, it, you know. That's love, bro. <laughs> so it's kind of coincidence that you're on here today, you know. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Tony A's my people, man. Thank you. Thank for you, real. my brother. Muchas gracias, Carnal. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Uh, we're gonna take one more caller and then we're out of here. Okay, so let's go. Who's gonna be the lucky caller? You know, make it good. Yeah, make it, make good, it good. good. You know, because so, we get like one female a night. So like, <laughs> but it's all good. Let's let, let's go. Let's keep it pushing. Here it is right here. Okay, let's go. Caller, your name or where you calling from? You are the last caller. Oh, that's right. What's up, Tony? Hey, this is Gonzalo coming out of Santana. Santana in the building. That's right. That's right. Santana, can I tell you something? I want to give. You know what I was sad about, yeah, Santana? That they closed OG mics. Oh man, shit! Yep, yep. OG mics was popping, bro. Yeah. Like, what's up with yeah, that, man, bro? Man, that was the spot. Oh, but sorry to cut you. I want to say what's up to Yellow Hill too. What's, what's up, man? What's going on, man? How you doing, brother? 
Yeah, good. I'm just right here posting up at work. Uh, I got the radio bumping with the show going he on. He said it's at work, bro. I'm calling. All the little That's gangster. That's gangster, bro. <laughs> You're calling in from work. Uh, hey, bro, make sure you look right and left, you know, that your supervisor's not looking, homie. On everything. Because Fuck. Them, them motherfuckers be like Michael Myers, but like looking out the... F- I know. <laughs> <laughs> they be trying to catch you slipping, hey, bro. Hey, hey. hey, man, you will pull that foot to the, to the black spot. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. I just play with you. But yeah, I just want to say what's up to you guys. Big old, big old shout out to you guys. And um, I stay tuning in. And you guys have a good night. I oh, appreciate you, brother. Stay blessed, homie. And that was the last call. Okay. Hell yeah. Let me see. Uh, let me make sure I clear this shit. Okay. Good. I logged out. All right, Yellow Hill. Let's, we can take these off. Ooh. I hate wearing headphones, bro. It feels weird just it, talking it, regular now. It, it does. You it stay does. on. You've been in those fucking headphones for a long time, and then you're like, "Wait, what?" Exactly. Your frequencies are different. Yeah. It, exactly. <laughs> so, God damn, I'm back in reality, huh? Yellow Hill, I want to tell you. I want to ask you one question. We still on the air? <laughs> yeah, we're still on the okay, air. Okay, okay. Of course, of course. <laughs> we, got, we got about five more minutes. No, okay. you're good. Maybe this question should be for your girl, but I'm gonna look at you when I ask. What scary movie are you gonna watch? Because it look at Halloween is. Approaching on Monday It's almost done I know, I know, I know I'm sad Okay, let me tell you something The Halloween season for me starts in September Yeah Okay yeah. September, October, that's it Same with her Okay, that's it I love fucking Halloween I'm gonna tell you what I love, what I love to do I love carving pumpkins I, I really truly do And then I love putting the top Putting the fucking candle burning And then when the fucking The candle burns the top It's a beautiful fucking aroma Oh, it smells good, bro Bro, you know what I've learned to do this year? Okay I'm going to carve pumpkins with my grandbabies. Somebody told me, when you carve the top out, take the top out, put cinnamon on top. Oh, put it back, light the fucking candle, and the fucking smells the whole house. Lo- Are you serious? Bro, pumpkin, do it, bro. Cinnamon pumpkin spice? Like, just cinnamon. Like, cinnamon. Like, Whoa. yes, bro. And it's like... It's just Halloweened out. Yeah, and Halloween. And we're in November, so it's still okay. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. In November, you can still carve fucking, fucking Fuck it. pumpkins. Nick, we gonna do that shit in December, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Until Christmas, shit. <laughs> Fuck I, this. It only comes around once a year. Exactly, so Fuck let's live that. it up. Let's live it up. Yeah, So yeah. anyways, uh, Carnal, I hope you had a blessed time. I hope you had fun. And um, I don't know, bro, anything you want to say? Anything any, Anything that I didn't ask you? Anything that we shouldn't mention? Music, videos, yeah. appearances. You know, okay, uh, can you, that appearance that you said you were going to be at. Uh, let's go ahead and, for the people that are tuning in late, you're going to be where at, you said? Uh, 5070 West Pico Boulevard, Catch Gallery, LA. Um, it's a meet and greet. I'm going to be in costume. We might have a couple other people in costume. We're having pumpkin carvings, candy. The kids can come through. If you're a fan of my music, come through. We're about to have sounds. It's going to be something real cool, family-friendly, all ages. Um, from two to five. So come there, man. Two to oh, five. On what day? Uh, this Saturday, which is what? What is Saturday? This? Saturday. Is that okay. the 29th or? I think that's the 29th. So just this Saturday from from now, um, we'll be there. Yep, this Saturday the 29th. Okay. So is come it, through. Are you gonna post up a flyer on your? Page? I just posted it while I was up okay. talking questions. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's all my shit right now at Yellow Hill. Go to that. Uh, bring the family through, man. Come with the mummy costumes, the goosebumps costumes, man. Bring the good vibes. It's gonna be. Security and first, everything's good, bro. So, man, come come, uh, come, rock with the community one time. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, you know what? Uh, much love, much respect to everybody out there that uh, tuned in tonight. You know, so once again, I'm going to give a shout out to America Cholo for tuning in. You know, he runs this podcast. He's always going live. So, um, it's all love. So, uh, America Cholo, I'm going to hook you up with Yellow Hill. Uh, uh, I would like for you to go out there and do a episode with him. I'm going to follow what I'm him, too. Yeah, yeah I'll follow him, too. So, um Let's go ahead and give uh, the super chats. A lot of people drop money tonight, and um, um, you know, let's give them a shout out, bro. And then, and then I'll give my shout outs. Okay, the G Lu show dropped five dollars. They didn't say anything. American Cholo uh, donated five dollars. Put uh, Cali Max. Okay. Uh, American Cholo also donated twenty dollars. Thank you, Tony and the homie Yellow Hill. Great vibe. Uh, Polar Bear dropped two dollars. Sugar Free's wife is built like American Cholo. What the fuck? Ma- uh, Monte <laughs> Monte Carlo dropped ten dollars. Dealer bro, how much do they charge to babysit that shot? 
Oh, what? Wait, what happened? How much did they charge to babysit that shot? What shot? Your shot. I think my shot is done. <laughs> Ralph 707 I dropped $5. I think my shot is done. <laughs> hey, Tony, who would win a rap battle? Oak Creep or Larry the G? Oh, I'm talking about Larry the G. No, you know what? That will be a good one. Larry, I can't Larry, decide because they're both dope, bro. Like, they're both dope. Larry the G and Oak Creep. Maybe we gotta, do, we gotta do a versus and let the crowd decide. And yeah, that's all. That's all for tonight. Okay, all good, all good. Any other, any shout outs you want to get, bro? Um, no. I mean, everybody knows I fuck with them. Who, who who I fuck with? Shout out to the Rodium Radio, Tony A, the Wizard, always having me. It's becoming a family thing, man. Anytime he calls me up, I'm sliding through. Um, thank you for everything, man. It's it's been a pleasure um doing this with you. This is fun. Thank you, my brother. And I want to thank everybody that didn't believe that Yellow Hill was gonna be here. So next uh show, you got drinks, and I'm gonna shoot you my cash app, and you better not fucking run, okay? Other than that, I'm gonna give a shout out to um uh, Norbert for uh joining our podcast. Uh, you know Norbert's. Like, I'm going to stop saying that because Norbert's just like here. Okay, so it's all good. And, uh, you know, and if you got a problem with Norbert, you got a problem with me. Yeah. So, uh, once again, uh, my boy Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise, thank you. Uh, if you guys need a car that needs to be small, hit up Alex Cervantes on 81 on Instagram. And uh, my boy, the Hip Hop Jedi, and my son, Be Scandalous, for helping me promote this and... Uh, if I didn't mention you, it was probably because you didn't deserve to be mentioned. That's right. But, we ain't uh, even going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that, Freak Tales on Friday. Make sure you guys check out my interview with ODM on the Blackout podcast. Robert, much love, much respect for inviting me. Let's run that motherfucker to 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. ODM, once again, podcast. Subscribe, uh, comment, you know, and share on uh, the Blackout podcast. Other than that, everybody else, um, anybody that I should have meant, should I, should I mention? No, I already said the hip hop Jedi. So other than that, um, you know, much love, much respect. I'll see you guys here Friday. Once again, the Halloween is special. So we're out of here. Yola Hill, thank you. Have a blessed night. Hello. Hello. Somebody text somebody, slap the shit out of somebody. Let them know that Rodian Radio is live up in this biatch. You got it.